In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a limit in LaTeX. So you start by typing the dollar sign. And it's really important to type backslash display style whenever you're typing limits. It seems that if I don't include this, uh, something funky happens. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. Uh, then you want backslash LIM. That gives you the limit. And then to get like the notation under the limit, you want an underscore, a bracket, and then your variable. So I'll use X. 2 gives you the arrow. Okay, so when you do this, it gives you the arrow. And let's let's be fun. Let's go to infinity. So that's empty in LaTeX. And then close your bracket. So this is just going to give us a limit uh, with nothing after the limit. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's compile this and view it. And here we go. So we get the limit as x approaches infinity of, and we haven't really filled that in yet. So if you get rid of this display style, let me show you the tragedy that occurs when you do that. You get this. So um, if you're having this problem and you're watching this video, uh, then you have just fixed it. Display style takes care of that. And then you can put anything here. Um, I'll just type in like a fraction. So FARC uh, 1 over two, uh, X, let's say. And let's say we know it's equal to zero. So let's go ahead and compile that so we can take a look at it. And there it is. The limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is equal to zero. And this is the actual size. I have it set up to where it shows the actual size when everything is in uh, full screen so you see it. I hope this video has been helpful. I will, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this code and paste it in the description so you can copy it. That way you don't have to type it in. And then just, you know, whenever you have to reference it, you can watch this video. Or, or you know where to get the code, or you can keep the code. So I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.